Hello. Welcome back to drama class. I know I'm in a different location right now. You might be wondering, why am I in a different location? No particular reason at all. Uh, but once again, it is the drama teacher. Hi, I'm Mr. Antrevis, Mr. Trey, Mr. Entree. There's a lot of names. Today, we won't be breaking down scenes. I didn't tell you what we're going to do. Today, we're going to be going over stage positions. I don't know if you can see that. Probably. You probably can. So that means there won't be any nice cutaways to videos like in the last videos. Today, stage position. So, what are stage positions? Well, if you know anything about a stage, or if you've ever been on stage, or if you know you've ever worked in theater, which you're students, so you probably, you probably haven't. But, basically, stage positions are there in order to make sure everything flows smoothly. Because when you're on stage, a lot of things are kind of backwards. You know, does that make sense? It will make sense in a few seconds. For example, you have your upstage, right? And you would think that upstage is like the very front of the stage, you know, where like people can see you, but it's not. Because all your stage positions are kind of based on your audience. So the upstage is this piece of the stage farthest from the audience and your downstage is this area like that curve that's your downstage closest to the audience right now in my classes we went over the difference between stage left and stage right and how they're backwards so when you're on stage and you're exiting stage left you're actually going to the performers left so when you're on stage, everything's backwards. So you're exiting stage left, you're facing an audience, right? So exiting stage left, I would go this way, because it's your left, but to the audience, you, it kind of looks like you're exiting stage right, because you're faced parallel from each other. Same thing with exiting stage right. Exiting stage right looks like you're going to the left because you're parallel, but you're going in the right directions. And you have center stage, your center stage, Super self-explanatory, but I'm gonna explain anyway, because sometimes they just need to know. Your center stage, literally the center of the performing area, performance area, right? So there are parts of the stage that you don't perform on, and there are parts of the stage, right? And that's like your backstage. Usually there's a curtain. There's a uh, curtain there that'll separate your performance area from like the part of the stage, just like the back curtains, right? But that's besides the point. Getting there. Then you have the center line. So the center line isn't actually like a part of the stage, right? Like you can't look at it. Well, you can look at any stage and say, oh, this is the center line, right? But the center line is kind of like a reference line that, it, that indicates the exact center of the stage, right? So the center line, if this was, say this whiteboard was my stage, the center line coming from downstage, right? which is gonna be closer to the audience, which is gonna be like, if this was the audience down here in this area, right? So the center line coming directly from downstage up through the center. So our center line would be like right here. Like that's our center line right there. Right, now on stage and off stage sounds super self-explanatory but it's not. So on stage is the part of the like playing area and by playing area, I mean the part, the performance part of the stage, right? So like this area where people are seen, that's on stage. Off stage are those areas surrounding the playing space that's not visible to the audience. So there are parts of this like that you can't see. Usually like if you go to like some grand theaters, this is usually where they would put like their orchestras like right here, like you can't really see them. They're like down there. And this is actually where like your um, backstage people work. Back of the house, I should say. Because there's a difference between front of the house and back of the house. And I'll break that down also in this video. Right? So, offstage typically refers to spaces accessible to performers but not the audience. So like the wings of a stage, the crossovers. All things that I'll break down when I continuously. These are just all terms that you should know, right? 
all terms that you should know if you're going to be following drama, right? So there's that. And so when I, when I say there are terms that you should know, I mean, obviously, I just went over them. Upstage, downstage, center stage, the center line, backstage. There's also two parts of drama like that. Most people don't necessarily know. A lot of people think drama is just acting, right? Like all you have to do to do theater is just act and that's pretty much like the gist of it. But that's not the case, right? Because you have your people who put it all together. You have people who create the set pieces, people who do mark those spots on the stage for the actors. Actors are only like, I want to say 30% of the equation because a good actor does not make a good movie, you know? You have to have the proper director. You have to have, you know, there's, there's so much that goes into it. But back of the house, I would refer to as basically the people who work your lights, your light technician. Um, you have the people who literally like, as some, some plays I've seen, like when I've been behind the scenes of some plays, there are people who literally dress like in all black morph suits and they move set pieces like in the dark and you would never see them and it looks like things are just happening you know things like that where it's like that's 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 kind of what we're touching on today stage positions and a little bit some of the terminology in theater uh, just a little bit of it so once again you got your those are your stage positions you got your upstage which is the part furthest from the audience Contrary to property lead. Downstage is closest to the audience. Stage left, right, is the performance left while he's on stage. So parallel, looks like he's going right. Stage right is, you know, parallel to the audience. So it looks like they're going left. Center stage, center, center of the stage, center line, on stage, off stage, front of the house, back of the house. What I would call, well, I call it front of the house and back of the house because I worked in restaurants. But it's really just like your your actors and then your, your, you know, your crew, your technical crew, right? Like nobody makes a movie with just a bunch of people. If a bunch of people got together and just did things, well, they'd be plays, wouldn't they? Hmm. This is what I wanted to cover today. Next week, we will be doing something a little bit more interesting. So I hope you tune in for that. It's going to be fun. It's going to be how to memorize lines. That's what I'm gonna go over next week, how to memorize lines. Um, it was a little shorter of a video this week, but at the same time, thank you again for tuning in. Once again, this is Mr. Antravius. Mr. Entre, Mr. Trey, AKA the best dressed teacher with the drip. <laughs> at least that's what the kids were saying. Uh, <laughs> at least that's what the kids were saying. Fire emoji. I wonder if he'll do that. I wonder if he actually will put the fire emoji right there. You think? Fire emoji. Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji, fire. You don't have to do that, bro. I don't know if you should put that in the video either. But thank you for tuning in. See you guys next week, Tuesday, where we can go over how to memorize lines or just some quick tips on how I memorize lines, basically. All right, and I'll see you guys then.